As we mark World Intellectual Property Day on the theme of women and IP, accelerating innovation and creativity, I want to raise awareness about the significance of intellectual property and how it enables technological innovation that drives human progress and the blossoming of the global arts scene. In that connection, the day commemorates the role played by women driving scientific breakthroughs, setting new creative trends, building successful businesses, and transforming our world. Of particular emphasis is what kind of place this world could become if it were diverse enough to allow women to maximize their potential to shape lives with their ingenuity and creativity. The underrepresentation of women in the IP system has been appropriately highlighted. And it is common knowledge that women bring new perspectives and talents where they are involved. However, only a few formally participate in and benefit from IP. Take, for example, academia and research areas recognized as leading new knowledge and IP producers. According to UNESCO Institute of Statistics, female researchers have shorter, well-paid careers. Their work is underrepresented in high-profile journals, and they obtain less research funding than men. Even in the other relevant and IP-related areas of entrepreneurship, the situation in emerging markets is such that women own small, medium enterprises continue to lag behind with a financing gap of US dollars, 1.5 trillion. According to the United States Patent and Trademark Office Progress and Potential Report of 2020, just above 12% of the inventors are women. Globally, only 16.2% of inventors named in the Patent Corporation Treaty in 2022 were women. At current rates, gender parity, the use of PCT, will only be achieved in 2064. The long history of diversity gaps in innovation and intellectual property generation has been cross-cutting almost consistently between developing and developed economies. As such, most IP offices in the world are currently developing active research and policy agendas to strengthen women's contribution to patenting supported by such fact-based realities. This context means we must advance the business case for gender parity by encouraging more women to use the IP system to protect and add value to their work. At Aripo, we are proud that we are a truly transforming intergovernmental member state-driven organization that strives to maintain the principles of diversity, particularly gender parity for our 22 member states, nine of which are led by women. They include Cape Verde, Ghana, the Kingdom of Lesotho, Liberia, Namibia, Seychelles, Sierra Leone, Sudan, and Uganda. Today, we celebrate them and renew our commitment protecting the gains accrued in this journey towards closing the gender gap. As part of our mandate and value proposition, we have developed various strategies geared towards inclusive participation to ensure we all gain from actively encouraging women to use the IP system. In the past few years, we have increased female patent examiners threefold. Patent examination is traditionally male-dominated, but through further initiatives such as training, we are ensuring that the next generation of patent examiners will have a remarkable gender balance. The need to celebrate the stories of the women who rely on IP rights to accelerate innovation and creativity cannot be ignored. As we join the world to celebrate many of our women in innovation and creativity, allow me to pay tribute to the women of Chobe in Botswana. Grooming a successful woman with intellectual mind in Uganda, and Dr. Mavis, 
Oleku Asare, a celebrated researcher from Ghana, who offers practical solutions to problems affecting smallholder farmers and women in food processing industries. They credit IP for their success and profitability. In conclusion, it is without doubt that women are potent agents of innovation, drivers of economic growth, and engines of employment creation. The role of public and private sectors in creating an enabling environment that helps to advance the opportunities for their full participation in the intellectual property space should be encouraged with targeted policy instruments. As they generally face universal challenges in advancing their careers, we ought to intentionally create space for their full participation in innovation and creativity. I wish you an inspiring World IP Day.